guys. Uh, Coke, uh, 55 cents beats 50. Uh, revenue ahead, uh, 6% uh, organic revenue growth. Then case volume, Jim, back to March 2019 levels, although they don't boost the guide, in part because they are remaining cautious given what we know about uh, COVID cases around the world. Right. I mean, they do fewer uh, lockdowns. But what's amazing is that you have this thing called you know, on-prem and off-prem. When you are on-prem at a restaurant in America, if it has... This is incredible. If it has a drive through lane, the numbers are extraordinary. That's why I like Chipotle. I like McDonald's. And the numbers here, I got to think, why isn't the stock up more? 6% organic growth? I mean, that's fantastic, fantastic for Coca-Cola. And I know he doesn't want to extrapolate, so maybe the lazy people just simply have to say, all right, I'm going to use his guidance. Uh, forget his guidance. He's on, this is on fire. This stock should be higher, Carl. It's good numbers. Also, Jim, um, some comments about inflation. Uh, a lot of plastic comments, OJ, aluminum. Uh, they say manageable this year, but going to be a challenge in 2022. Well, why did they let all those aluminum... <laughs> why did they... David. Yes, the sir. The aluminum can companies were all allowed to merge. What was that about? I, I do not know. You don't? No, I don't have an answer for you. Well... I mean, you don't think it was right and you don't have an answer? I don't necessarily. Don't... I haven't done enough work on the situation in terms of consolidation amongst the aluminum uh, makers. Yeah. Well, there it is, Carl. Answer. There it is. Yeah. I will tell you that commodity prices, as Carl points out, often oh my continue God. to go higher. Were you on the Alcoa call? Uh, I, I, I'm aware of it, yes. David, the, the Chinese are suddenly getting serious about air pollution, and they've cut back how much they make. Uh, Carl, I've got to tell you. Uh, if you are buying aluminum or if you're buying lumber, good luck. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.